I'm back working on uh, Excel driven macros to uh, to use as either game tools or actual playable games and this one I'm sort of fixated with this idea that you could play a role play session in about an hour and actually have something happen to you. Now this is in the uh, preliminary stages so if it stalls or crashes well it'll all be part of the fun. Consider this a first look. You would probably open this up and uh, you would first be asked, well, is your name Reginald? I'm just going to keep it Reginald. Sure, why not? And uh, I can go through various roles here. Very simple. You know, it's a cartoon-driven type of game. Uh, you can actually wear a piece of headgear. Your right and left hand can hold something. You can stick something in your pocket. Hopefully, we'll find something. Uh, should I play this guy? And you can notice at the bottom here, we have uh, uh, different bonuses that are... Uh, um, activating as uh, I go through the different characters. So you start with very little here. And I would just click New Game. And I'm going to trip into a cyberpunk genre. And I could review the goals here is that you are approached by a slumlord, folklore, a person that seems familiar to you from past dealings, but your recollections of the setting are vague. Your patron certainly knows you. Slumlord folklore has a task. Go to the AI servers and collect the chrome sample of a reagent or catalyst, hopefully just a MacGuffin. And uh, you may seek help at the robotic zoo. It's on the way often, often meaning it might not. You might get lost with the invention uh, inside the adventure. Uh, when you ask where the AI server is, the slumlord folklore laughs and walks away, chuckling that you are always a joker. Cyberspace has no there there. You will receive a reward from your patron or a benefactor for successfully completing this mission. And we go off. Here it goes. Now it's going to roll some dice over here, and uh, we're going to find out what happened from that. You, you failed to spike the dose of a hesitant informer adding truth serum to his daily something-something. And this was in a shooting galley, so I failed to drug up some guy for some information. All, my, all of these are uh, basically mysteries in order to try to collect clues to get to an end place where you can fight your climax. Typical sort of gaming. I can either go expediting my goal, and it would uh, give me an information here that when you expedite for your goal, uh, you are um, changing your strategy, and you will skip incidental events. I can go back to cautiously pursue my goal, which means I'm going to get all the events that are presented. I can go to bypass danger, which means um, if a threat comes up like this one, if I had changed this before this threat came up, I could have bypassed it. I'm just going to go through cautiously pursue and see what comes at me. I can change the difficulty in that I can do a an ultra uh, difficulty or I can go back to just uh, you know if I want to see the adventure and not have to deal too much with my characters constantly dying and I'll play somewhere in the middle lanes as well but this uh, event that's happened to me and again I'm a cynical sort of character here I failed to spike, uh, spike the something something so it gives me an option where I can press my luck here and try to uh, do the inquiry again and try to get that clue point or I can go on and I can select one of the six buttons that are displayed here to react to this cyberpunk threat to my life. It's a threat. Uh, there may be more to this event. The enemy shouts and dictates terms with a menace that unnerves. The situation calls for vigilant action. Any other attack will generate uh, minus two to the dice. Now, I'm plus one on cynical, but I would still then be rolling my dice at minus one. Now, vigilant, luckily, if I click on the uh, my modifier here, it'll tell me that vigilant actually has a seven easy uh, against the threat. And so, seven easy against the threat. Vigilant will seem to work here. Let's see what happens. I click that. I rolled a 13 to avoid the danger. That's probably high enough. You defeated the cyberpunk threat. You failed to find the hidden prize inside of the encounter. Now, that's because I rolled snake eyes down here. Now, I could always give chase and try to catch up with the threat and capture that prize. Or I can just continue on with my adventure. Well... That's just a brief look at what's going on. Eventually, I'll move through a number of settings here. Let me just sort of blip, 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 even though it'll probably end up getting my character killed. You can see my uh, my hit points dropping here from all of that. I went up a, at least another plus. I'll take a calculated bonus here. Oh, I, I, I forgot to grab that um, that crown that I got in the last in, uh, as prize. And uh, maybe I'll do a calculated against this threat and... Probably took some more damage. I'm stunned three, and it'll tell me that uh, stunned, uh, I lose my chance to counter threats. Maybe I should start bypassing danger here. But I did. Uh, uh, let's see if I can get through it. Yes, but I didn't get the uh, prize, and 
Uh, I did get uh, second uh, experience points, so I went to level three. It's not just one experience point per level. The first couple of levels are uh, easy to get. After that, they start to climb up. Maybe I want to double up on my... And then I can continue in this until either I'm going to run out of, uh, of uh, stun or another threat. And in this case, yes, death of character. That's always a good end of video. More later.